Nutritional therapy is a relatively new addition to the armamentarium of clinicians in the eye care world. Unlike cardiology and some of the other medical disciplines who adopted nutritional therapy 20, 30 years ago and are now intimately utilizing that as a source of additional treatment for their patients' medical concerns, uh, eye care really began the journey about a decade ago. And the original information that was utilized was related to the treatment of the posterior segment of the eye, or the retina, and a condition called macular degeneration. In one of the largest and probably best done studies that we've ever had in eye care, the macular degeneration patients were treated with a series of cocktails of uh, antioxidant therapy. And it was found that in about 25% of the cases, it was able to either significantly slow or stop the progression of the disease with just the taking of a vitamin every day. This was breaking news, and certainly it became a, a major part of the long-term care of the macular degenerative patient. As a result of that and the success that it's had, a second trial has been put in place, which is the uh, macular degeneration trial 2, and it's looking at more complex systems, and that trial is just about finished. And the new vitamin therapy for that includes a much broader array of antioxidants, and I anticipate it's going to be much more successful. There's also some recent data from a separate study that shows that the use of that vitamin system can prevent the onset of the disease in siblings and or patients who have parents or grandparents who have had macular degeneration. So it's very exciting. For the first time, we have some evidence that the use of a nutritional element on a daily basis may be able to prevent the disease, which would be a really positive step forward with a very complex problem. After the macular degeneration trials began the awareness of clinicians in the field, we started to look at other areas where nutritional supplementation may be valuable. And as it turns out, the dry eye patient is probably the most commonly used, or the most common disease in which we use nutraceuticals. The nutraceutical use there is the supplementation of the normal oil glands of the lid, which are responsible for providing a nutritional support as well as a coating of the eye to keep it comfortable and reduce the dryness. The, the basis for omega-3 therapy has evolved uh, relatively rapidly over the last three to five years. The initial providers were looking at omega-3s that were fairly generic. And since there are two types of omega-3s, uh, ethyl esters and triglycerides, there wasn't a great deal of uh, differentiation made. As we've evolved the science and we've become more directed in our clinical trials and our clinical research, we've found that certain types of omega-3s, the triglyceride-based systems, that are made from marine-based product, that would be small fish like krill, herring, and other uh, agents, are much more valuable to the patient as far as both absorption rate and long-term impact on the, on the desired outcome, which is actually a healthier eye. For that reason, those products, and there are several companies that produce that quality of omega-3, have risen to the forefront, and most clinicians in the country who are actively involved in ocular surface disease treatment are using the marine-based products because of the obvious biological advantage and the endpoint patient care advantage that they bring.